Okay, so in this video, we will take a geometric look at the differential of a function. So say we have a function y equals f of x, then its differential dy is given by the derivative of the function at x times dx, and we can also write the derivative as dy over dx times, of course, dx. And in this form, we clearly get dy as dx over dx cancels, and we obtain dy. So we can have an infinitesimal change in y of the function by multiplying the derivative of the function by an infinitesimal change in x. But we can look at dy now in a different way. The derivative of the function at x is by definition the slope of the tangent line to the function at x. And so if we multiply the slope of a line by the change in x, we obtain the change in y of the line. So dy, the differential of the function, is equal to the change in y of the tangent line to the function y equals f of x. So we have a second geometric way of looking at the differential, again being the slope of the tangent line times the change in x, which returns the vertical change of the tangent line, so the change in y of the tangent line to the function y equals f of x at, of course, the point x. And we can compare dy, the differential, to delta y, which is, of course, by definition, the exact change in y of the function. So let's look at both of these quantities geometrically and see what can we say about the two of them. Are they equal? Are they different? And if they are different, how different are they? So let's now look at the sketch of an arbitrary function in the xy plane. We pick an arbitrary point x, and at this point, we consider the tangent line to the function. So this is our tangent line. And now let's add to x a small change in x. Say x plus dx. And since x is the independent variable, then dx is equal to delta x. But is the same true of the dependent variable y? Well, let's look. So let's first consider dy, which is the change in y, the vertical change of the tangent line to the function. Well, as x goes from x to x plus dx, the y value of our tangent line goes from here up to here. So this change right here is the vertical change in our tangent line. This is, of course, dy. Let's now look at delta y, the exact change in y of the function as x goes from x to x plus dx. So the y value of the function at x is the same as the y value of our tangent line, but at x plus dx, the y value of our function is different than the y value along its tangent line. And so as x goes from x to x plus delta x, or x plus dx, the y value on the function goes from this point up to this point. 
So if I extend this a little bit here, we can clearly see now that this is the exact change in y of the function. So clearly, delta y and dy are different. But we can see as we take a smaller and smaller change in x, this point gets closer and closer to x, the point of tangency, and we can see the closer we push this point to x, then the closer dy, the change in the tangent line, will be to delta y, the exact change in the function. So this is our conclusion. Even though delta y and dy represent different quantities, they will be very close to each other as long as we take a small enough change in x. So if dx, which is the same as delta x, again because x is the independent variable, is fairly small, then we can approximate the exact change in the function, so the exact change in y of the function, by the change in y of the tangent line dy, the differential, which of course can be calculated by taking the derivative of the function at x times the corresponding change in x. And that's it.